the Battle of Ridgefield, Connecticut's only inland engagement during the American Revolution. Two years into the Revolutionary War, New York's royal governor, General William Tryon, prepared for an attack on a Continental Supply Depot in Danbury, Connecticut. On April 25th, British troops disembarked at Compo Point and marched north. The British reached Danbury the following afternoon and quickly overran the small force protecting the supply depot. They destroyed the supplies and camped for the night. The following morning, as the British troops prepared to march back to their ships, a Continental force under the command of General Worcester prepared to engage them. Worcester divided his force. About 500 men were sent with General Benedict Arnold and General Silliman to Ridgefield. The remaining troops stayed with Worcester. He hoped to delay the British long enough for more reinforcements to arrive. In a surprise attack, Worcester's men attacked the British rear guard a few miles north of Ridgefield. They killed a small handful of men and wounded others before disappearing back into the trees. About an hour later, Worcester struck again. This time, the British were prepared for the attack, moving artillery pieces to the rear. The British cannon sent the Continental militia scattering, and Worcester himself was wounded. He died five days later in Danbury. Worcester's sacrifice was not in vain. His attacks had given Benedict Arnold enough time to build a barricade across the main street in Ridgefield. The Continental troops were subject to a full barrage from the British artillery. Cannonballs tore through the barricade and the town's buildings. General Tryon ordered his troops to attack the flanks. These attacks were repelled at first, but the British used their superior numbers to attack on all three fronts simultaneously. The British overwhelmed the Patriots. Benedict Arnold had his horse shot out from under him and was pinned under the weight, killing a British soldier as he freed himself. The Continental troops retreated and engaged in a running fight through Ridgefield. Ultimately, the British seized the town. They camped for the night and burned several buildings as they left the next morning. Continental regulars and militias harassed the British troops as they marched back to their ships, but were unable to inflict serious casualties. The Battle of Ridgefield was a tactical victory for the British. They destroyed Continental supplies and left burned buildings in their wake. However, this battle also galvanized support in the area for the American cause. If you want to see more things like this in the future, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to support what I'm doing, head over to my website where you can purchase my newest full-length documentary.